how much do software engineers really make, and other interesting facts about software engineering salaries. How's it going guys? My name is Aaron P. Tech and I am going to talk to you today about software engineer salaries. I'm a software engineer right now in Silicon Valley. I work at Uber, which is, I would consider one of the top tech companies, definitely. And um, my salary, I'm just going to come right, right out and tell you, is 110000 base with around 25 k of stock per year. Uh, so Uber is not yet a public company, so the stock doesn't really mean anything. But a lot of times when you're at these top companies, it's already public, so you're going to have basically uh, real money supporting your stock. And, um, you know, if Uber goes public, who knows what's going to happen. So it's a little bit more risk, but maybe more reward. Anyway, without getting too far off topic, I'm going to tell you a few things you might not know. Um, my starting package is pretty standard for Silicon Valley. It might seem high to you, but it's average, actually a little below average for an entry-level engineer. The reason my salary might be a little bit lower is because I don't have a computer science degree. In fact, before getting this job, I'd only been coding for around nine months. So that, I would say, is fact number one. You don't have to have a degree to get a really good software engineer salary and move up just like everyone else. Once you get in, you're on the same level with everyone with the degree, and it's survival of the fittest, who has the skills is all that matters, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so, number two, uh, the perks in tech are insane. You are going to have, if you're at a top company, free lunch, free snacks, free commuter benefits, free gym, free, if you work for Uber, Uber credits, and depending on the company you're at, uh, your package could go from great to amazing. But every company is pretty good. And why is that? Well, every company has to basically compete with Google. And when Google is giving out all this stuff, uh, they're going to steal all the good engineers unless everyone else offers the same thing. So in the end of the day, the winner is the software engineers who get these benefits. And the companies have to spend a little more, but they keep their people happy. Fact number three is as good as the base salaries are, the equity gets insane, especially after a few years. I'm a level one, like I said, making about 25000 a year. Every time you get promoted, though, your equity per year goes up about four times. To put that in perspective, a level two engineer is getting around 100k per year of equity, and then once you get to level three, aka senior engineer, you're going to be getting around 250,000 in addition to a 170 or so base at a top tech and tech the top tech company that is uh, like Google or Facebook. Uh, so if you hang in there for only three or four years, you're going to be doing pretty well, especially when you compare this to. Uh, banking or law where you're gonna have to wait around like maybe 10 years to make that much so you move up a lot faster in tech but I would say that your salary is capped faster so once you get to that senior level you might not go too much further unless you're like an insane engineer or become a manager so you move up quick and I think that's a good thing uh, now the Sun is getting in my eyes but we're gonna continue to number four uh, number four I would say is you get the high salary, but you don't have to work the crazy hours, and there's not as much stress as another high-paying job. And I would say that's a fact. In law, business, uh, medicine, you're dealing with millions of dollars, people's lives, and there's a reason you pay more. It's a really hard job to do. Uh, while software engineering, I would say, is cognitively difficult, you'll be really mentally tired at the end of the day. Uh, it's just not on the same level as these other industries, but you are making just as much, which is kind of unfair when you really think about it. Um, and then I guess the finally, I, I think it's number five now, uh, thing that I would say about software engineering is not really about the salary, but just the fact that you're kind of getting paid to develop this uh, amazing skill that you can use anywhere. Um, so what do I mean by that? You are getting paid by companies to write code. That's pretty obvious. But uh, once you learn this stuff, you're going to keep it and bring it with you forward. So if you go to start a business or work at any different company, you have these skills that you were basically paid to develop over time. Uh, so the skills themselves have value. Let me put that in other words because that was kind of long-winded. 
Um, you're getting paid to learn. That's what I'm trying to say. You're getting paid to learn a super valuable, super high demand skill that you're going to have for the rest of your life. So uh, what I would say at the end of the day is if you are considering being a software engineer and here's what, that's why you found this video, uh, the pay is great, it's only going to get better, and there are a lot of unexpected things that uh, are included in your compensation that you might not um, have been able to predict. Uh, the last thing I will say is I want to reiterate that you do not need a degree to get into this stuff. Um, one of the amazing things about this industry is that it's all merit-based. So can you do the job? If yes, you're in. Are you better than the person with the degree? If yes, then you get the promotion. So that's one of the things I really love. And I actually came from like a finance background and it's totally the opposite. It's like, who do you know? Whose ass do you kiss? And in tech, it's all about like what you can do. Um, so at the end of the day, I would say, again, if you're thinking about getting into it, just go for it. And if you want to learn a code to eventually start a business, get into a tech company, save up some money, get paid to be trained, and then you're going to have that skill with you for the rest of your life. So just go for it. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, this is the, my name is, I guess we kind of skipped our uh, introduction, but my name is Aaron P. Uh, like I said, I think earlier, uh, I am an entrepreneur and a software engineer in Silicon Valley. Uh, I'm going to start making some videos on this channel related to like coding cool projects and just talking about the life of a software engineer. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, hit, stick around and uh, keep an eye out for my future videos, I guess. This feels like I'm asking you on a date or something. It shouldn't be this awkward. But anyway, uh, keep an eye out for uh, new videos or whatever. Uh, if you want to help this get this channel going, uh, please like you know do all that stuff that everyone always asks you to do on YouTube. Uh, but anyway, yes, I'm Aaron P, and uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something today. See you around.